Hey everybody, it's Mark Rollins here once again, and we're trying out a product from Targus. This is going to be one of two products that I'm reviewing from the company, at least for now. And this one, this uh, EcoSmart uh, keyboard, knocks it out of the park. And we're going to unbox it and check it out right after this. Okay, so I'm just going to unbox this. Um, first thing I want you to notice is it comes in this very eco-friendly package here. Um, most of the stuff uh, looks like uh, recyclable cardboard. At first I thought this white was plastic, but it feels like some sort of um, material that I'm really not familiar with, but uh, I believe it has the recyclable label on it. But uh, just for the second record, I'm just going to check. Now let's see. Oh, hey, we got the... If you look closely, you can see the Targus written on it there. That's difficult to say because white tends to get a washed out effect on this uh, thing. But uh, let's check it out and open her up. Okay, so not much else in here but the keyboard itself, wrapped in a bit of plastic. I suppose that's okay. This is recyclable plastic according to this. Um, I've been hearing a lot about how plastic doesn't get recycled and stuff like that. That's probably a problem that I don't really want to address right now, but I believe that is an issue. That's pretty much the only fault I can see in this Eco Smart product. But hey, let's get to the product itself. Um, it has kind of this little um, thing in here. This thing is kind of like a... This, ah, yeah. It comes out. It kind of reminds me of, I don't know, an egg chair or something. In here is the charging cord. But uh, honestly, I don't know how much charging is needed. And I'll tell you why. Okay, I'm going to take it out of the plastic just so you can see why it's not needed. Now, when I first opened this thing, I looked on the top here. And what I thought this was was some kind of interesting sort of display. Uh, it isn't, although that would be very cool. Maybe for a gaming keyboard, perhaps. But these are solar panels. So what I believe this thing is doing is it is absorbing uh, sunlight. Uh, not only sunlight, but indoor light as well. So all the light in this room, it is taking. Now I'm told this thing is very efficient on power. It is up to three to four times more efficient on anything, um, any other Bluetooth keyboards. I might be wrong on that. If I am, I'll correct in the article that I'm writing on this. But um, it's pretty good looking. And as you can see, we've got some stands here. Uh, flip out uh, feet, I guess. And there's a switch here, which I believe turns it on. And I'm just going to see if I can get a light on this thing. This has been in the lights uh, for not very long. I did try it out earlier. Okay. All right. I'm getting an indicator. So there is power in this. Um, I could plug in the, uh, the charging cord here. Um, I found that when I plug this in, and then plugged it into my computer, um, I couldn't get it to interact with my computer right away. It wasn't like a plug and play um, keyboard that I've, I've used before where I plug it in and immediately it recognized it. It actually, I paired it with Bluetooth and I'm very glad I did. However, it looks like the Bluetooth light is off, which either means that uh, I need to repair it or that perhaps this thing is kind of out of, pow out of power which makes sense. I mean, I just unboxed this like uh, for not more than like a half hour or something. And um, I'm going to just plug it in and uh, give it a try and pair it. But first, I'm going to go to our other camera. OK, I've powered on my laptop here. And now I'm just going to plug it in. And uh, let's see if it will recognize it right away. Uh, it probably won't, but you never know. OK, you can see that I'm plugged in the back here. Um, here's what you might not be able to see. There is a red light here, which is meaning that this thing is on. Now, just for the sake of argument, I want to just try out something. Uh, I'm just going to type on this. Okay, I'm getting nothing. It's not recognizing it. So I'm going to have to pair it. Uh, but how do I pair again? Well, I think I'm just going to have to go over here. I remember there's a switch on top that if we're going to switch it like this, bingo. We got a pairing, uh, okay. Uh, I've got a blue light that's slightly flashing there, and I'm going to see how easy it is to pair. Okay, I'm going to be fairly honest with you. It took me a little while before I could get it paired, and I think part of it was because I had already paired it with another laptop over there. And then when I started pushing on these buttons, because apparently it can connect to three different devices, and has these buttons there for it, I think it sort of uh, kind of jimmied the works and it made it work. 
um, if that makes any sense. The fine point is it works and I'm gonna talk to you about it a little bit more here. Okay, honestly, I've typed on this thing and I can't seem to type on this when the camera's there because I keep shutting it on and off, but uh, the feel of it feels great as far as the keys are concerned. It really is, it's not, it's not exactly ergonomic, but it certainly is nice on the feeling on the hands, seriously. Um, I typed the article that I wrote about this on this guy and it felt pretty darn good, honestly. So I'm gonna give it points for that. That's just as far as uh, various comfort that it feels uh, good with. Well, I usually don't uh, do like star ratings on this thing, but honestly, if I had to give this a star rating, it definitely would be above four out of five. And honestly, this is a very decent product. And I really hope that there are more companies that produce eco-friendly products like this. In the meantime, I'm just going to sit back here and catch some rays so my uh, keyboard can uh, essentially um, charge itself. I will say one thing about this. This cord is very hard to get out. I've discovered that I have to like really yank it to get this thing out of there. And that is weird, honestly. But if that is the worst I can say about this product, then that is a very good thing. If you're interested in getting one of these things, I highly recommend going to the Targus site now. It is available. I believe it's a very brand new product. I saw it at CES 2023, not more than a few weeks ago. And it's available for a price of $119.99. That's $119.99. Pretty good deal. And honestly, it's been Mark Rollins from the Geek Church signing off.